to my channel it is Brittany so in today's video I have another human hair headband half week for you guys today's video is brought to you by my quality hair I have worked with them in the past but they are they have also come out with a headband wig just like a lot of companies have been um, so they're gonna be a they're one of the more affordable human hair companies so if you are somebody who wants the human hair look of the headband wigs I have featured on my channel, but you want a more affordable price, this might be better suited for you. And if this is still out of your price range, I do still have um, some headband wigs on my channel that are synthetic. So just check out the headband playlist and all of them, including the uh, human hair ones and the synthetic ones will be featured on that playlist. So definitely check it out and pick which one is best for you. So they sent me a curly bob headband wig so this is the shortest one I've ever tried um but this is this might be this might work better for more people because a lot of people that watch my channel don't like long hair I'm somebody who likes long hair but um there are some people who don't like super long hair um this is Indian virgin hair the hair color is a natural color it's 14 inches it's 150 percent density and if you use the code B10 at checkout, you will save $10 off of um, orders that are over $99. Um, and this is an average cap. Y'all saw the unboxing. This was packaged very well. I, li I like the little satin bag or mesh bag it came in and everything they included. So here is their curly bob. This is not a kinky curly texture. This is a like silky curl. I have not washed this, but you can wash it before you wear it. You probably have to let it air dry overnight, especially with the headband getting wet as well. So you guys saw the inside cap. You have three combs around the front and these are smaller combs, not like with the synthetic wigs, you get that super long comb in the front. But with the human hair ones, you get like an inch comb in three spots at the front, a comb in the back. And do you get adjustable straps? You do not. So my edges are already laid down because I have reviewed some other wigs before this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try it on. And I have a lot of black on, so I'm gonna definitely wear the headbands that they sent me to kind of break up the overall dark look I have going on. And this is 14 inches, so 14 inches on me is gonna look different because I'm six feet tall and I have a longer neck so it's not gonna, it's gonna look a lot shorter on me. Actually, I'm not gonna put the combs in because that's kinda irritate my edges. That's the only thing I have a gripe about with the headband wigs. I think they're great and super convenient but you kinda have to rely on the combs unless you wanna mod modify it by using bobby pins or one of my subscribers, her name is Dana. She uses a wig grip instead of the combs that come with the wig. I haven't tried that yet, but she said it works for her. So this is what we're looking like. I'm just spraying some Cantu Comeback Curl, Next Day Curl Revitalizing Spray. Just spraying a little bit on there before I put my so with my specs, this wig is $130, which is pretty reasonable for a human hair wig. All right, so these are the two headbands that they sent me. At this point, I have so many headbands. I don't know which company is which, but I'm gonna try these on with this wig. So this one is white and it has a black pattern on it. Very detailed. And I think that'll be a nice breakup for all of this black that I am wearing. And with this dark lip, this hair is not super big. So I can put this on afterwards instead of like having to put it on before I put the wig on. So just like I've been using in most of my videos, I'm going to be using the She Is Bomb Edge Control. I picked this up off Amazon and it is great. So if you want to purchase it, I'll have a affiliate link down below. All right. 
right, I changed my lip color to something more natural. I think it was a little bit too harsh with this look. This will be cute up in a little ponytail, but I need to anchor the combs. It all down is cool, but this kind of length on me is just not, that's not my thing. But I'm gonna wear it up in a ponytail, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is a perfect lens for a ponytail. Yes, super cute as a ponytail. All down, to be honest, I'm not here for it like that. Super cute as a ponytail. I don't know how we're looking back there. So I'm gonna put a headband on and that's gonna be it for this one. And then I'll tell you how I feel. guys so we are back and we're gonna get into the review part of this video so as far as the pros and cons go let's get into um, the cons first for me this particular texture is a silky curl which it could be a preference thing but I don't prefer the silky curls because I feel like the silky curls can look just like synthetic wigs to me they can um, but there are people with silkier textured hair that this could be for, but me personally, I feel like this curl is too silky for me. I prefer something with a little bit more kink to it. <laughs> I have had silky human hair wigs that weren't like the curly silky wigs that weren't like super shiny and silky and artificial looking, but I kind of feel like this, the curls on this looks a bit too shiny for my taste. So the vol the density on this wig is 150. It is a little bit too thin for me, I for my face anyway. So the cons are more so, it's more so my preference. I would want a bit more volume with my curly wig. Even though I'm going short, I still want some volume. So I feel like it was kind of lacking there. So those are my two main cons. I'm not a big fan of the silky curls because they can mimic synthetic curly wigs in my opinion yeah just a little bit too shiny for me maybe it needs to be lived in a bit more um but i wasn't a huge fan of that and and the density i feel like i would need more density for my size head and stature and everything i definitely would prefer something with a higher density but that's okay it could be you know for somebody who wants something better suited for summer I'm just telling you how I feel about it, but let's get into the pros. Obviously with any headband wig, it's gonna be convenient and easy to apply. You don't have to fool with lace. And you got to be glued, worrying about walking outside and your lace being clocked. You don't have to worry about none of that. No tinting lace. You just have to either decide to put your headband directly on your hairline to cover it, or just have a little bit of your edges out and be done. So that's a huge pro. So I did say about the length kind of being awkward for my stature and body, but with the 14 inches, it's like the perfect length for like a shorter ponytail. And I think it looks super cute and sassy with this ponytail. So um, the pro, it's a pro and a con for me. Um, so I do like the short length for a shorter ponytail. And I think that looks super cute, but I wasn't like going crazy over it at that length all the way down and how it looked on my face. And you guys did see, I changed my lip because I, I wanted something softer because I already have on a black shirt and the hair is black. And then I had on a dark lip. So I needed something, I needed something neutral and natural on my lips to kind of balance it out. And some people don't think, you know, makeup makes a difference with your wigs, but they for sure do. So, um, it does. 
So those are the pros and cons. From my perspective, you decide whether or not it's, you know, a good investment for you. Um, I personally, I like it for the ponytail, but if you're gonna buy a headband wig, you wanna have more versatility than just wearing it up in a ponytail. So I'm not like going crazy over this one, but it's cute in this ponytail. And another pro, this wig is only $130. In comparison to some of the higher end ones that I have featured on my channel. So if you're somebody who's looking for a budget friendly human hair headband wig, then this could be an option for you. But I told you all the pros and cons, make that decision for yourself. Shout out to My Quality Hair for sponsoring another video and shout out to you guys for tuning in and supporting my channel. Shout out to my premiere squad. You guys are the best. Thank you for all the love you showed me. Thank you. If you would like to be a part of Premier Squad or just a part of the family in general, make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are turned on. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.